Tēnā tātou katoa. Good evening. Struggling Coromandel towns are celebrating an early Christmas present tonight, with the Prime Minister unveiling a newly rebuilt State Highway 25A. The key lifeline is opening three months early after it was smashed by cyclone hail in January and forced to close soon after by the anniversary weekend floods. As Karen Rutherford reports, thousands of visitors expected back on the peninsula from next week can't arrive soon enough. From a gaping chasm to an under-budget masterpiece, the new $43 million Taparahi link reconnecting Coromandel is a sight to behold. This is a project under normal times would take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to get done and it's been done ahead of time uh, under budget uh, and it's happened because a team of people have come together and done an incredible thing here. 100 workers have toiled around the clock since the road closure in January. Personal sacrifices away from families all part of the job. Straight away everyone knew the job that had to be done and to be honest everyone's just pulled out all the stops. The paint is still drying on this long awaited bridge which has taken 75 tonnes of cement to stabilise the land, piles have been bored down 10 metres into the rock and 491 nails have been used to treat the unstable slopes. We've had materials arrive, you know, ask for it at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it arrives fabricated at 10 o'clock the next morning. People have just really put things on hold for us, it's been incredible. A speedily built 124 metre composite design. Yeah, so it was all precast off site, even the deck was, which yeah. we hadn't done before. And then you just bring it on so it it in. That the Prime Minister's keen to see as a blueprint for future projects like the Brindewins or State Highway 2 round Wairoa. Round the clock shifts to get New Zealand moving. And some of that we're going to do in conjunction with the private sector so that we can actually get infrastructure built much quicker. Uh, and it might mean that we've got toll roads and it might mean that, um, but it means that we can actually get this infrastructure up and running faster than the government doing 100% of it itself. Over the hill, thousands of lives and livelihoods can now be rebuilt. No more two hour detour. For Pan Sharma at the Onimana Boatshed Cafe, the outlook's now brighter. He's had barely a soul stop in for 11 months. We were doing 1000 to $1,500 a day, which has gone down to $80, $90, sometimes $20 a day. The closure of 25A seen a dozen businesses go up for sale and Fung Mata, Fitianga and Tairua alone, but now Christmas has come early. I kind of attune it to a sheep yards. They're just waiting for the gate to open and they're going to... And they're going to pour through it, and that is what the bridge is going to do. It's going to be the gate opener, and all the sheep are going to come, and we're going to, and we're going to shear them for all they're worth. Tairua's Paku Lodge Resort lost 70% of its clientele. Contractors working on the new road have been their only saving grace. Just to get the people here around Christmas time and all that with this road being open is just going to make such a big difference to everyone. And it's everyone they now want to see. <laughs> it's going to stop us from becoming a ghost town, which is great, or a ghost peninsula. The onslaught of cars and cash are expected from Wednesday next week, once Iwi have blessed the site and final touch-ups are all done. Karen Rutherford, News Hub.